What is up, fell guardians? My name is Noodle, and welcome to my first ever exotic weapon review. In this series, I'm going to be taking a look at the new Year 2 exotics and seeing how well they perform in the Crucible. Today, we're going to be looking at the Jade Rabbit Scout Rifle. The Jade Rabbit joins the Tlaloc and the Boolean Gemini, a total of three new exotic scout rifles released with the Taken King. Unfortunately though, we did not see a return of the ever so popular Mida Multi-Tool, as there is currently no Year 2 variant of that gun, and perhaps there never will. So let's take a look at this new exotic scout rifle. The description reads, What kind of harebrained scheme have you got in mind this time? And if we have a look at its base stats, it's pretty evident that this scout rifle falls under the high impact, low fire rate archetype. Its base stats are actually strikingly similar to the year one Trials of Osiris scout rifle, the Scholar. One thing that is immediately noticeable though, is that the magazine size only displays seven. And even with extended mags, that only brings it up to 11 shots, which is actually still very low for a scout rifle. However, this number is actually quite deceptive. Once we take a look at its exotic perk, you'll understand why the magazine size is so small. So let's have a look. As you can see, the exotic perk is the fate of all fools. Hmm, sounds kind of familiar. And if it doesn't, here's a little backstory. The original fate of all fools is an exotic scout rifle. However, only one was ever created. And Bungie specifically gifted it to a Destiny player recovering from multiple brain surgeries. Good on you, Bungie. Now at that time, a lot of people speculated that the fate of all fools would eventually make its way to the rest of us. And in a sense, it has with the Jade Rabbit, as it bears the same exotic perk as the original Fate of All Fools. And with slight alterations, it allows the original Fate of All Fools to remain rightfully exclusive. So the exotic perk reads, Chain body shots to gain bonus damage on your next precision shot and return ammo to the mag. Now the perk is pretty self-explanatory, but if there's any confusion, I'll quickly explain it. A damage multiplier is accumulated based on how many consecutive body shots you land, and that multiplier is immediately applied once you hit your next precision shot. Now of course, if you miss at any point in time, the multiplier resets. At the same time, that precision shot will return ammo to your magazine based on how many body shots you landed before. So technically speaking, if you hit 6 consecutive body shots, cap it off with a 7th precision shot, you will return all your ammo back to your magazine. I'll also mention that from my tests, the damage multiplier does appear to cap off at 4 consecutive body shots. Also, there doesn't appear to be an actual timer on that precision shot. I tested this out by placing 6 body shots into a target, going AFK for about 5 minutes, coming back to hit my 7th precision shot, and both the multiplier and the ammo return still worked. Now let's have a look at its other perks. Down the first column, we see pretty standard ballistics. In column 2, we have spray and play, which definitely comes in handy for a gun with such a small magazine. On the third column, we have extended mags, speed reload, and custom optics. Personally, extended mags is definitely the way to go for this one, as it will increase the magazine size to 11. And finally, on the fourth column, we have Zen Moment. And I guess as a final disclaimer, the Jade Rabbit is unfortunately a PlayStation timed exclusive, which means Xbox users will likely have to wait until next September to get their hands on this gun. Now that we have a better understanding on how the gun works, let's see how the Jade Rabbit performs in the Crucible. The most important thing to remember is that you're using a scout rifle, which means range and precision are gonna be your two biggest advantages. A standard body shot hits for 49 damage, and a headshot with no multipliers hits for 73, which means the weapon is capable of three-shotting most guardians as long as you land two or more precision shots. To truly maximize the lethality of this weapon, and arguably any scout rifle, it is imperative that you use range to your fullest advantage. In these following clips, you can see how effective this weapon is, even at extreme distances. Both the scope and the reticle are designed for precision, which means your bullets will stay true as long as you stay on sight. Now keeping that in mind, the best way to maximize this weapon is going to come from your ability to keep the engagements in your favor. In this upcoming clip, I managed to kill 4 opponents down the same lane with the Jade Rabbit. Though the feat might not be impressive, take note on how effective movement 
and knowing when to disengage allowed me to make the most of my weapon. Being unpredictable is one of the biggest advantages a player can give themselves in PvP, and this is no different when handling a precision weapon like the Jade Rabbit. Strafing side to side in a firefight, or even a simple change in head height, will throw less precise players, or players using less precise weapons, off. In this clip, you can see how effective movement allowed me to keep at least three members of the opposing team trapped at sea flag. Even though they are the superior force, I managed to hold them at bay until the rest of my team could help me clean up. Once you fully understand the strengths and weaknesses of your weapon, you'll be able to utilize it at its fullest potential. Which leads me to my final point. After all, the Jade Rabbit is a scout rifle, which means it's ideal for medium to long range encounters. To be fully effective at all ranges, it is recommended that you either pair it with a shotgun or a fusion rifle as your secondary. And don't forget to make full use of your arsenal, be it a grenade or a well-timed super. Honestly, if you asked me a month ago if I'd be using a scout rifle in PvP, the likely answer would have been, fuck no. However, with the rebalancing of weapons, and yes, I'm looking at you hand cannons, scout rifles finally feel like they have a place in the Crucible. If you enjoy high impact precision weapons, then the Jade Rabbit will serve you well. And hopefully with this video, even in defeat, the Rabbit should be menacing enough to get you some sweet, sweet love from the other team. Anyways guys, that concludes my video, and thank you so much if you sat all the way through till the end. Throw me a like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Noodle out!